Do you have an announcement to make? Yeah, we've got a transfer quarterback from Rice University. He's now officially in our school and our program. What does he bring to you guys? More competition? Is that the big thing? I don't know yet. We just got here. Does that change anything? You wanted the name of starting quarterback this weekend. Hasn't changed a thing. Peyton's our starting quarterback. Going in the Mizzou game, or? He's just like the left guard and the defensive tackle. I walked off this field. He was our starting quarterback. And walking off the field, he's our starting quarterback. What did you see from today, just overall, the defense and offense? I thought we were sluggish. I thought the defense is just like everything we do around here. It seems like one time someone performs really well, and the next time someone performs really poorly. And I thought the defense did a great job. We got takeaways, which is very critical to our program, obviously. And, uh, you know, the offense did score. We got down to the green zone. They did score, which is exciting. So I think the rules reversed from last Saturday to this Saturday. So, and I think what that brings out is the competition. You know, we score every practice. And I don't know if you guys can hear us keeping score up there, but we score everything. So I think the competition is great. You got, you got two weeks left. What do you have to work on from today to Mizzou to, to really sharpen up everything? Well, the first thing we got to sharpen up is our special teams. That was an embarrassment today. It was, we had three penalties on special teams. We had a safety on special teams. We had shank punts. We missed field goals. So we kicked the ball out of bounds on kickoff. So we're starting with special teams and work from there. Special teams. Is there anyone else other than Deion Holloman that might help him uh, kick return, punt return this year uh, if he's taking more of a role in the, the offense? Answer, the answer to that is absolutely yes. And uh, Matt Rush was climbing quick on his tails. I think, uh, which we don't use him much, but he can do it. His Darius Joseph is a really good kickoff returner. And Zach Sanders is a really good punt return. And then it was, I was disappointed, Matthew, with the fumble on the uh, punt return. But he was crawling up uh, Dion's butt, you know. I saw Darius uh, blocked a field goal in, in the early session with the special teams. Yeah, he did a great it, job coming off the edge. How do you gauge that with how well they're doing on special teams to potentially getting more run uh, at, at, on defense? Well, DJs are starting yeah. corner right well, I'm, now. I'm so. just asking everyone, everyone in general. Well, everyone in general. Yeah. What happens is we got to get figure out the two deep, and then our travel roster has 13 spots, and we emphasize greatly that to get on the bus in one of those 13 spots, you got to contribute on special teams. So seeing DJ do that, but I do know this for coaching for a long time, when you block something like that, it's usually because not a great rush, but someone on the other side of the ball, either the punt, punt team or the field goal team, in, the case that, in that case, the field goal team just missed the block. How with the in the quarterback room? How 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 do you tell them? Hey, we're going to bring in somebody else. How do they? What, how do they keep their mindset going forward with that? You build trust and you're honest, and that's what we did. We built trust with our players and we were honest with our players. But with a guy like Malik Earl out there, I saw he was able to create separation with his arms. How big is a guy like him going in the season? Oh, Malik's huge. But, but not only is he huge as a uh, hell of a football player. The thing that's helping our program turn quickly is a guy like Malik because he's a good football player, he's an extremely hard worker, and he's a leader. And when the leader of your team is the hardest working guy out there and the most energetic out there, people want to follow him. You've seen some good receivers in your time while coaching. What's, what makes him special? I think what he can do is he separates from routes, and I think he's got great eye-hand coordination, and I think he does a really good job of running with the ball after he catches it.